can't remember if this place is on that side of the building or if it's over there. Let's, I think it's on this side. No. Hey guys, I'm Ryan and this video is all about food in Kuala Lumpur. My goal in this video is to show you the three sides of Kuala Lumpur, I guess of all of Malaysia. We got the Indian, we got the Malay, and we got the Chinese sides. Those three make up about 90% of the entire culture. Where are we? We gotta go this way? I think it's about 40, 42, 43% split between Chinese and Malay and the rest would be Indian so a lot of the food here is one of those three and since we got three meals a day I figured we'll do all three today right now we're headed for breakfast and we're gonna start things off with some Indian food we want to be on the other side of this I think we gotta go around this way so it's not exactly Indian food um, there's kind of a Malaysian twist to it I guess look at all this delicious food that looks really good um, but that's not where we're going. Actually, this place right here, this guy's doing roti up. He's rolling out, uh, it looks like chapati. This chapati? Chapati, chapati, chapati. We actually are going for roti though. Roti Chennai, it was created by the Indians that came over with Britain when Britain colonized Malaysia. So it's not actually available in India. I guess it would be close to uh, paratha, maybe, um, the Indian flatbread. But it's called roti chennai because it's thrown around. First of all, roti means like bread. You would call even like a loaf of bread roti here. Uh, and then chennai means to like, I think the translation is something like flying. And what they do is literally throw the bread, throw it around to like stretch it out. So that's where it gets its name from. And they have a variety of different types of roti. Um, you can get it stuffed with bananas and one banana roti. Banana uh, roti. You can get it with sardines. You can get it just plain one roti telur. Roti, egg roti, cheese roti. Uh, yeah, egg. Egg roti. I like it with egg. Egg cooked right into it. Oh. Let's get that. And this is the place where we're going. It's called Ali Food Corner, and it's a chain in Malaysia. There's a bunch of them around, and they just do up roti. They do up all kinds of food, and they're open like 24/7, so you can get food pretty much any time of the day or night, and it's always super delicious. This is how we do it: tea and coffee. Tea, coffee. Yeah, white coffee. Coffee yo. Oh? Copio. 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 Means. With milk. So this is the dosa, dosa masala. Really good. This is biryani? 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 
So what they'll serve it up with is different curries which are included in the prices. So will often add some of these curries that, which have chicken and stuff in them, but you don't get the chicken, you just get the sauce, the curry sauce that was cooked in it, chicken was cooked in. Do you like how restrained I was? You didn't eat any? I didn't touch it. Alright, it's dosa, it's beautiful. Then I'm going to tear into the roti talur, which means bread egg basically. And I cook the egg right into it, you saw that. And you dip it in usually a lentil curry, which is exactly what this is. Mm. So good. Freshly cooked bread, always going to be amazing. This has lots of, lots of butter and oil, so it's extra good. Mm. Yeah, it's one of my favorite breakfasts in Malaysia. You can see the fluffy egg that's cooked into it, almost like scrambled egg filling. And this is our masala dosa. Masala is actually a type of spice, but it's um, it's put on the potatoes in this case. So we got like a kind of a thinner, more fried up. It's almost like a, a batter, like a crepe, um, and then some masala and some potato inside of it. It's like a sourdough almost. Yeah, I don't know how they make it though. I didn't do that research. Mm, yeah, that's really good. And you got different sauces here to dip it in. I don't know what they all are. This one here, the white one, do you know what that is? Like a coconut. And the banana or pisang. Look at the banana inside it is almost like melted. It's like gooey, sweet. They add extra sugar to it. But you add you mix it with the savoriness of the curry. So good. Mm. Oh, okay, thank you. They don't usually have napkins in, on tables in Malaysia for some reason, um, which is interesting because most meals you eat with your hands, and in a place like this at least. Yeah, but they wash their hands after the meal, right? Yeah, but still. For us, we, for Westerners, I find we have an obsession with keeping our hands clean. When they eat, like, well, I got something in my hand, I gotta, like, wipe it off. Yeah. But here, they just, like, they're eating, like, with their hands. And they wash it up at the end. Yeah. It is better to eat it with your hands, though. You can scoop better. Yeah, it's designed to eat. Control portions better. Man, is, is it 11 o'clock already? And it's lunchtime. We're at the ICC Pudu. It's kind of a modern hawker stall complex. Incredible food in here. Some really good stuff for uh, breakfast and lunch. And it's lunchtime, so we're gonna get some lunch. And I'm going with the Malaysian dish this time. I'm hoping to try some nasi lemak, which is the national dish of Malaysia. And it's a pretty famous dish throughout Southeast Asia, really. Yeah. Ready? There is tons of food in here. This place right here is pretty famous. I actually had this lady's curry puffs the other day. does up some dim sum. You want to try a collection of dim sum. One, two, what is this? Yum, 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 yum. This is the chicken? This is chicken? Yeah, yeah, you can Oh, wow. Very good.
crazy spicy chicken. That sounds pretty good too. Uh, oh, here's nasi lemak. Let's go to get this one. There's a line up here. Yeah, this looks amazing. Bit of a lineup, that's a good sign. Nasi lemak, get a piece of chicken with it. Ooh. Scared me. Okay. Uh, well, it's chicken? Fresh chicken. Okay, yeah. Okay, and also, this? this? Uh, pork skin. Pork skin? Yeah, pork. Oh, so fat. <laughs> okay, this one? This one. Okay. The coco. Okay. Do you need curry sauce? Yeah. Curry sauce. So we got cockles. Good. Busy. That's okay. Thank you. How much was that? Nine. Nine. Good deal. Okay, we need a place to sit. Right there. I got a spoon and I got some amazing nasi lemak. This is actually the national dish of Malaysia. It's commonly a breakfast food. So traditionally, this would be served in a pandan leaf. You'd unwrap it and it would be like a pile of rice cooked in like this coconut milk, maybe some sardines on top and some sambal. But this is lunchtime, so it's a little different than what they would get at breakfast. Uh, I'm not even sure what this is. I think onions. It's like an onion barbecue-y thing. These are cockles. So that'll go with the rice really well. The rice is really fragrant. Kind of like a subtle coconut flavor. Just kind of tastes, I don't know. Just, there's more to it than plain white rice. But very subtle though. Got some extra curry here. Uh, I didn't get any of the pork skin that was in it, but it was cooked with it. So it's gonna be like really rich with the pork skin. Wow, so good. And I got a fried hunk of fried chicken on top. Mm. Wow, it's really good fried chicken. I've been so impressed by the chicken here. Really juicy. Most of Southeast Asia's chicken is like kind of scrawny. It's a little bit uh, gamier, like chewier. The chickens are often like free range, they're running around. So um, I think. In Malaysia, they eat more corn, and they actually produce a ton of chicken here. Their chicken industry is actually 186% sustainable, so they produce far more chicken than they need. So you can really get selective when you have that many options. Really good. Crispy outside. Crispy outside, moist on the inside. Mm. Really good chicken. Better than KFC. I mean, look how meaty that is. Too bad I'm so full, I won't even be able to eat dinner later, but I have to. dinner time and it's time for Chinese food probably my favorite type of food in Kuala Lumpur we're going to this place here, right here. this guy's doing it up and it's uh, pretty busy in there so we're gonna go sit across the street here so basically this is a Kadai Kopi Kadai Kopi it literally means coffee shop but what it is is a various food vendors in one space um, the coffee shop provides the drinks and the food vendors do the rest. So you kind of have to order a drink from the people who own the building. Uh, and then 
you order food on top of that as well. Uh, this place only has two vendors open right now, so they'll do like fried dishes. And it's usually just like a stir fry dish, and then if we want some clay pot rice, we can get that as well. But we have had the clay pot rice before. Thank you. Let's go with uh, roasted pork fried rice. Okay, we got pork fried rice, um, sweet and sour pork, and vegetables. Um, would you rather do the eggplant, the big mixed veg, or the mixed veg sambal? I'd rather do Adam rice. Which one? Lean towards the eggplant. Eggplant? Okay. And uh, eggplant. She has a... A lot of times these Kadai Kopis don't have menus. Um, you just go to the stand, you order what you want. Uh, when they bring it to you, you pay them directly and you can go to multiple stands and they come and find you. But during... Yeah. Uh, if you want a beer, I'll have a beer. Split a beer. Tiger? Okay. Big one. Big one. This guy will bring the beer and we'll pay for it right away. And then we'll pay for the food separately after. Food has arrived. We got some pretty typical Chinese dishes. We got some fried rice here. This is uh, roasted pork fried rice. There's little bits of roasted pork in here, which is amazing. Um, over here we got some eggplant with some ground pork. And we got some sweet and sour chicken. No, sweet and sour pork, right? Really good. Pretty typical Cantonese food. The majority of Malaysian Chinese food is either Cantonese, um, Fujian, uh, Hakka, or Tiao Chu. I think I got that right. Um, basically, the southern part of China, a lot of people from that area immigrated here years and years ago and they brought their food, but they also made versions of their food because some of the ingredients weren't available or they got. You know, they tried some Malaysian food, which uses a lot of fish paste, so they decided we're gonna adopt that and we're gonna start putting fish paste in with dishes, stuff like that. It really, it changed the dishes. In a lot of ways, it made it better. Um, even ingredients, you know, you maybe the Indians here are using a different kind of flour to make their roti and it works really well as something. That's just a, an example I made up, but you can see like a mix of cultures coming together and it changes the Chinese food, adapts it, and it's, it's a good thing. I mean, some of the best Chinese food I've had ever in Kuala Lumpur. Let's get some of this rice piled up. We've been eating a lot of Chinese food on this trip. We've had the clay pot chicken, which is a Malaysian Chinese dish. Um, they do have clay pot chicken, I believe, in China as well, but this is different. Um, I find a lot of their dishes have a more like gravy-like texture or gravy-like sauce. Like this eggplant, for example, it has this really like ground pork and kind of a gravy taste to it. Roast pork, there's a lot of it here. We've had a bunch of roast pork dishes. Both the yuk tzu and the char tzu and some amazing chicken, like Cantonese style chicken. They do really good chicken rice in Malaysia, which is originally a Hainan dish, but they have their own version here. Uh, it's like it's like the Singaporean version as well. Same same idea. We've eaten a lot of good Chinese food. Love this eggplant. We've also had a ton of noodles, different types of noodles, Hokkien noodles, Tiao Chu, a lot of Hakka style noodles. Bihun. Bihun is really, really tasty. What else? Kui oh, Tiao. I will do a run. You're always going to do rhymes for this, not just city of gastronomy. Always rhyming. That's why they call me Ryan. Pretty much polished this off. Really fantastic food. Fantastic food throughout the whole city. 
Malay, Chinese, and Indian all come together to make Kuala Lumpur one of my favorite food cities in the entire world. You gotta come check it out. And please subscribe below, hit the bell icon after you subscribe to get notified of upcoming videos. And remember, if you wanna eat well, you should come to KL. All right? <laughs> Look at me, right? <laughs> oh, you're nodding your head like, mm. You did a little nod. Did I? You were... <laughs> yeah.